Hey, congratulations on winning the International Player of the Year award. What does it mean for you? No, it's honestly a, a big honour for me personally. Um, to be in amongst like some of the names that have won the award in previous years. Um, yeah, it's yeah, it's amazing. Um, but obviously, getting personal accolades like that, it's you can't do that without obviously the help of your teammates. And for me, I've got a terrific team around me to to help push me and um, yeah, play at the, the level I can. You've often told the story of going to came Richmond Park and meeting Emma Bourne after the game and it's boring you to go on and can you believe that you've kind of reached the same sort of heights that she's reached now obviously being Ireland captain playing professionally in England and the same club obviously Arsenal as well but um, now being on that same list of honours as you said. I'm quite a few uh, trophies behind Emma <laughs> <laughs> as well and, and, and caps but um, no look that I remember the day so clearly um, back in Richmond Park when she'd come over and, and signed the ticket for me um, to say then I'd be playing in a team with her, have her as my captain and be winning awards that she's won is yeah an amazing honour and I think Emma has done massive massive things um, for women's football in Ireland um, and she's an Arsenal legend as well so yeah she's um, she's amazing and she's someone that I still look up to to this day. The, the year that you've won it for, it was a bit of a weird year, it started off a bit of a losing streak, we played a lot of higher ranked teams purposely to to get up to the level and get prepared and then from the Australia game then on then it was just, you know, uh, held their skelter and such a great end of the year. Yeah, look, it was a great challenge and um, playing against those top nations because you have to play against the best to, to beat them. Having those big calibre uh, nations and playing against them, um, y yeah, you experience obviously difficult moments in games and I think then it showed when we played Australia back in September um, that we were used to that. Obviously Australia, they're World Cup team, World Cup um, hosts and for us to obviously get the win gave us a lot of confidence and I think we've carried it through really well throughout the, the World Cup campaign too. Do you think it was a year that you came on a little bit more on, on the international scene yourself? Did it, did it feel in any way different for you? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah look for me I, I always just try obviously when when I'm putting that Ireland show on for me it's like there's no bigger honour than representing your country so every time I play I give it 100% and whether that's tracking back trying to defend or, or getting forward and waiting for Denise to, to try slip me in for a goal Um, yeah look I give it my all and I think the whole level not just me of the team um, has really increased like having players playing in the WSL in competitive environments um, only makes the Irish squad stronger um, and prepares us even better for for big moments um, in campaigns. So look, it's it's great, um, and I think we're we're on the the right trajectory right now. The captaincy you seem to really embrace it much more. Or you now consider one of the senior players from when Colin first gave you the captaincy to to now. You, you've grown into the role, but do you feel more comfortable with that and, you know, you know, inspiring those younger players when they come into the squad? Yeah, definitely. I think given, um, getting given the armband at 21 um, took a lot of people by surprise, I think. Um, myself, I just try to continue to be myself, whether that's on the pitch or off the pitch. Having the likes of Louise Quinn, Nifahi, Diane, Rusha, Denise around me, I think made the, the job a lot easier. Um, for me, being captain is the greatest honour, um, but I couldn't do it without the support of, of those players around me. And um, I just try to, to lead by example on the pitch through my performances in training, um, and hopefully I can yeah, spur a, a few more players on with that. Just ask about, in terms of the women's team getting up to a level now in the consciousness of Irish people in, in sporting wise, that they're now seen as a team that is inspirational to uh, people around the country. How does that make you feel? Because it's been a long journey for the team to kind of get to this stage, even though we're still obviously fighting for qualification for a major tournament. The, the, it's much more, people will now recognise players, talk about players, talk about women's football in a, in a different way now. Yeah, no, it's fantastic. I think since I first came in, was it six, seven years ago maybe? I'm showing my age, but... um. It's, I've seen different levels of, of growth. Um, I was in a team where we didn't have great working conditions and obviously the, the strike and we're now at an equal pay deal six years later. I think it's it's been massive. Um, and 
that's obviously through the, the work of the FAI are doing as well to help push that and push gra grassroots um, football too in Ireland. And for me, when I was growing up, there was no women's teams available. You were playing on boys' teams up until you were 14, until you could find a senior team to, to play with. And now, like my little sister can go and play under 17s with Shamrock Rovers when obviously that didn't really exist. Um, a couple of years back, so it's great. It's it's we we're on the we're on the right path. I think we need to keep pushing. We need to keep driving it, and we need to keep inspiring young girls to to play football. Because and it's on that level, isn't it? Because when you were growing up, when you look at female icons, Sonia O'Sullivan, Katie Taylor, you know these Emma types Bourne. of Emma <laughs> Bourne, but it's the, the Irish women footballers were never really kind of considered on that list. But now, as I said, there's much more in the consciousness now of. In a, in, a, in a kind of national sport and context like? Yeah, definitely. I think visibility is key for that. Um, we're visible to the public, whether that be playing on RTE or obviously at Tallis Stadium now, everything's publicised really well. Um, and I think, yeah, it's it's obviously nice um, to have the following. And for me, filling out Tallis Stadium is, is obviously what we want to get to consistently, um, getting fans in the door to come and support us. and. I think um, yeah, we're going in the right direction for that.